Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial. On this video, I'm going to create a design using a cutout effect. This will be the illustrator only version as there are multiple ways to make it. On the following tutorial, I'm going to show you another way with Photoshop. So to begin with, I have selected the colors I'm going to use for each layer on the side so it will be easier to select them with the eyedropper tool. By the way, I have opened a 1920 by 1080 pixels artboard. First, using the rectangle tool, I will create a rectangle. Then, I will make 7 copies of this rectangle, as many as the colors I am going to use. Now, using the eyedropper tool, I color each of the rectangles starting from the darker at the bottom. You can't see them now because they are on top of each other, but the color is actually changing. Next, I'm going to create a shape which will be the whole of each layer. So I'm taking the pen tool and creating a path. Now, while I have the new shape selected, I'm taking the selection tool, I'm holding down the shift key on the keyboard, and select the rectangle shape as well. Then go to the pathfinder and select minus front. Next, I will create a new shape with a pen tool, which will be the hole for the rectangle below. So I create a new shape. I'm taking the selection tool, I'm holding the shift key on the keyboard and select the rectangle below as well. Then minus front. This has also moved the new shape in front so I'm going to put it below on the layers panel. Next I continue with the next rectangle. I'm taking the pen tool, create a shape. Take the selection tool and select both. Then minus front. Go to layers panel and move the object below. In this case, I would like to add another hole to make it more interesting. So I just create a new shape here and do the same process. Now I repeat for the rest of the layers except the last one which could not have any hole.
On this stage, you can make any adjustments with the direct selection tool to make the shape smoother. Now lock all the color layers and duplicate each of them. Unlock only the new layers which will be below the originals. Now select all the new unlocked layers and change the fill color to white. I'm holding the shift key to select them all. Then, while you have them selected, move them slightly higher and to the right with the arrow buttons on the keyboard. Just a bit so it will be like a sign. Now, go to the effects tab on the top bar and select stylize and drop shadow. I have used these settings but you can play with them and see what works best for you. Now you can crop the design by changing the size of the artboard using the artboard tool and export. And that was it. On another tutorial I will show you a different way on creating a similar effect. I hope you liked this video and if you have any questions let me know in the comments below. Till next time, like, share and subscribe. Bye.